This is where you guys have asked me questions in my YouTube comments and I'm answering them. Hi guys and welcome back to yesterday's wishes. Today I'm going to do an Ask Lucy for you. So I will get on with answering your questions. My first question is a really interesting one and it is, is there a blind culture? And my answer to that is, oh, I don't really know. Um, I guess there is because you know, having, well, a blind culture would be really looking up to someone or something that they've done, being blind, that sort of makes a culture out of it. So like Stevie Wonder, he's always been blind and he's an amazing musician and I really look up to him and I guess he has started the blind culture. So then you look at Stevie Wonder and think, oh, I actually can really be a musician. Um, and just because I'm blind, it won't, won't hold me back. And you know, I'm starting the ukulele because of it. Blind culture has definitely evolved throughout the years. I mean, being a blind person in 2015 is so much better than it would have been like even 20 years ago because of the technology we've got nowadays. I mean, there's iPhones that just talk to us. I definitely don't feel disconnected from the world being blind. Um, in that sense because I can still go on social, social media I can do everything other than you know see a picture or you know laugh at a video if there's some content in it that isn't described in terms of a blind community there is a blind law society that you can get involved with um, if you are going to be um, going to university to study law which I have got into a few um, LLB courses in the UK at the moment so I'll be eligible to join the Law Society being a blind person myself. Um, there are a lot of other things like charities definitely um, have an ethos of um, promoting a blind community and making um, it better to be blind in this um, place we call Earth um, but I don't think speaking on behalf of myself you know, maybe some people out there do want to be blind, but I think going from a person such as myself who has had sight, I think even though it is easier to be blind, it's you, you can see that it's always easier to be sighted as well, so then there's that argument in your head. Um, but definitely the communities that are out there that help support you, like the RLSB charity in London, they are amazing, like one of the best charities I've ever been involved in. with. with. <laughs> They're really good with young people, um, losing their eyesight and they've definitely made me feel like that I can be comfortable with who I am even further than, you know, I already thought. <laughs> because being blind isn't just, as I always say in every single video, being blind or disabled isn't a bad thing if you flaunt it. <laughs> also, the last thing to say about a blind culture, um, not many people necessarily know everything that's out there and available for them. Like me suddenly being thrust into blindness, I didn't have a dictionary or a thesaurus or whatever telling me all the definitions of, you know, what blindness is like or, you know, just being blind in the dictionary doesn't really tell you you know, it tells you, blindness is this, well okay, now you've given me this Oxford Dictionary, like, how do I, you know, live with it? Um, so definitely I think blind culture needs to be um, very more open, in my opinion. I think it should definitely be spread and people should definitely know more about it even if they aren't blind. And yeah, I think I think that's all I have to say about it. Other than I tried to spread, uh, spread. I have no, oh uh, my words today. I tried to spread um, as much knowledge to everyone and about everything that I possibly can that I know about being blind. So yeah. Next question. I think I've answered this question before in another Ask Lucy, um, and it is, do you remember what colour looks like? And my answer, I think then and it still is um is sort of but i can almost just about still see it as i have 10 percent vision in this eye which is my left eye um i have 10 percent of blurry blobs more or less if you guys didn't know or this is the first video of mine you're watching um yeah it's it's very hard i would say 
um, to remember faces because I can't see faces anymore. I think the world is just a blob to me. Um, it's very hard to remember families or boyfriends' faces um, the more you think about them. So the more you try to refresh the memory, the more you don't have the memory to refresh. Um, and I think that's what I'd say about any memory or colour. Um, because I still have a little bit of it, I can still it's really hard to explain but basically I can see sort of contrasting colours um, so I can definitely tell that black versus white like I can tell that there's a contrast there but um, if you gave me a selection of a colour wheel that was like all the different I don't know shades of purple in the world I would just be like okay that's purple <laughs> so yeah this next question was a really really sweet question so thank you for asking it me and it is do you style your hair yourself and the answer is yes I do I use very hot curling tongs to do my hair which people go Lucy why are you doing that but I just sort of just every single strand I don't really have a sort of method of doing it I just literally curl each strand like I literally start from the front and go all the way around um, sometimes I use clips sometimes I don't but maybe it would be interesting if I like showed you in a video um, comment below if you want that the next question is um, how do I know what colors and patterns I am wearing or or put together um, I'm really interested in fashion because I was previously interested in fashion before I went blind I went blind at the age of 17 if you guys didn't know that um, yeah, so the way I put my clothes together, um, I have different sections in my wardrobe um, and different drawers, that's how I organise it, but also um, I feel the texture of my clothes, like now I know that I have my um, Aztec Azteci different um, pinks to red jumper on um, that I got for my birthday, um, I just sort of know and know how to put them together. People have suggested outfits that I could wear with them or um, also I have a few things labelled with my pen friend from the RNIB that you can um, get. Um, you put basically like little sticky labels on the labels of your clothes and you can have, they're like washable and um, you put the pen friend on it and it speaks um, like what you know you can record a message of like okay this is my um, H&M vest top or this is my um, coat from I don't know new look so yeah it really helps <laughs> this again was a really sweet question and it made my day because of the lovely sweet comment about them maybe donating to help me regain my sight and no there is no cure for my eyesight at the moment as of yet Hopefully there will be in the future because they are doing um, genetic um, stem cell research which would hopefully save me because the only way to save my retina because it's so damaged would be stem cell research and the regrowth of my retina at the back of my eye. Um, at the moment I know that they're testing it on mice and things but yeah, <sighs> yeah all I can do is hope and if you spend your days um, I don't know, thinking about the future and not thinking in the now, then I'd, I'd get upset about it, but um, yeah, hopefully in the future. The next question is, do I have any trouble with laces or do I prefer pumps or trainers? And my answer to that is, no, I've never really had any trouble with laces. I can sort of do them with my eyes closed anyway when I could see. Um, and I prefer pumps i.e. like um, Vans or Converse in the day with a nice outfit with like a skater skirt and a vest top and a coat or um, I prefer trainers when I go on my bike because I have a bike in my flat that I do quite a lot of miles on um, it really helps me to calm down, de-stress um, not think about essays for once or the stresses of my life or if I'm feeling down about my eyes I go on my bike and I tend to do about 20 miles three times a week well I used to before Christmas because I have put on a little bit of weight over Christmas um, but yeah I think everyone does but yeah trainers are the best for my bike what is my vision like and the answer to that is I've got 10% as I said previously in this video it's very hard to describe because I've had um, three surgeries on or well, two on one eye and one on the other um, not actually in 
my right eye because I went blind in it in when I was age 11. Um, but recently, in one of my videos, like it's the one with the hot water bottle just showing, um, it's like I pierced my tear duct um, in March last year. Um, so that wasn't very <laughs> nice for me. But the other eye, I've had internal surgery. Um, that's when I went blind and to also remove a cataract. So um, my vision is sort of, it tried to get saved, but it didn't really. Um, but to know more sort of about my vision and things, I did do a video called My First Speech and it sort of takes you through my whole condition and things. That, um, so yeah, you might want to take a look at that. Do I live with my boyfriend, Ollie? The answer to that is sort of. I have my own flat with um, Olga, where I live, on my own with my doggy. And we, I still go to college because I'm retaking the third year of my A-levels as I lost my sight in the middle of them, which sucks. But Ollie now goes to university. Um, so he tends to come over for the weekends or holidays. And yeah, we just chill out. Um, he do, he lives with me. Basically, he lives with me in the holidays, um, so part of the time. <laughs> Even though I have Olga, do I keep a cane with me? I tend to not keep a cane with me when I have Olga, um, purely because she just is my mobility at that time. But if I don't have Olga and I'm just being sight guided, which is some of the time, like if I go to the pub or um, I'm at a party, I do have my cane in my bag for. Um, just security really. Um, sometimes I get on and off the train with it. Um, sometimes, I don't know, you shouldn't use the dog and the cane together but sometimes I do have it in my bag if Olga, um, I don't know, if I'm just with Olga on her own or whatever. It's, it's just always good to have both um, types of mobility and you can utilise both of them so you don't feel scared or vulnerable at any time. That's my motto. If you know everything and you have every tool at your disposal, then you can never feel sort of, you know, you can always use different ways if one breaks down or whatever. I'm not saying Olga's gonna break down anytime soon because she's only two years old. My cane could snap or anything, but yeah, Olga is the most reliable source in my opinion because she's just so cute. Thanks for watching my video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to feel free to ask me any sort of comments on Twitter, mainly in the YouTube comments because me and Ollie tend to filter through those and we can answer them on the go if we don't think we can answer them in a video or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you very soon guys, bye! This is the end screen guys, remember to click on the links to the right of me um, to go on Twitter or any of the others. The audio description is on Audio Boom, and click underneath my face if you want to subscribe because you know you want to. See you soon!